My name is Possible, and I'll be your tutor for today. Today, we are going to look at principles of microeconomics, the principles to be precise. So we are going to start with the introduction, contributors, and then I will add my, my contribution to it. And then from there, we come to the branches of economics, which has been categorized into two microeconomics, then macroeconomics, and then we end with economic theory and then economic model. I hope it makes sense. Now, before then, let me first um, introduce you to the concept called economics or the field or the subject economics. Now, economics, as we normally hear in our newspapers or in our news, right, is something that is, let me say, controlling the world. Right, because when you wake up early in the morning and then you turn on your TV set or your radio set, about 70% to 90% of the news talks about um, the word economics or the economy. Now, sometimes we hear that the economy is performing and other times we hear that the economy is not performing. Especially if you are in the other part of the world, I mean Africa. Most of you hear that the economy is not performing. Now the question is that the economy which is performing and they're not performing is a human being. Or what at all is the economy? That it sometimes it is performing and then other times it is not performing. That is what calls for our attention to the concept of what economics as a field. So we are going to study the, uh, the topic of the field in deep of incarnation. So just sit down, take a sip of water, and then be ready to learn. I hope it makes sense. So quickly, we are starting the introduction. Way back in the SHS or senior high school, anytime I'm going to school, my mother will call me and say, possible, I don't have much. This is the little that I have. Take it, use it to buy curry, buy sugar, and then send it to school. Listen to my advice. Use it well, manage it so that you can use it for the entire semester or for the entire term. As obedient as I was, I just take it and then when I get back to school, when I wake up early in the morning and then I'm preparing for class, the only thing I could do is to pick up my, my reachable, by then it was reachable. And then I take my spoon and then put it in it and fetch about three spoons of what, reachable, and then put them in a cup. When I'm done, I fetch half of, um, half of the spoon, like I mean the sugar, I just fetch the sugar and then add it to the, um, to the milo or the reachable, and then put some water on it, and then I get my breakfast for class. Here comes in my roommate. Some will say that, hey, management. Others who said, hey, hey, economics. So from the class, or from the room, sorry, from my, my room, I realized that even my roommates, some were saying management, others were saying economics. It means that they were using economics and then management interchangeably. I hope it makes sense. Now, when I was going to school, my mother also said, make sure to manage it well. So it means that in our societies and then in our communities, sometimes we use economics, the word economics or, uh, and the word management interchangeably. But the question is, are they the same? I hope it makes sense. Are they the same? That is the reason why some contributors came in. We have Alfred Masha, we have um, Lionel Robin, we have Samuel Sen, we have Adam Smith. You can read on them what they said about economics. Some made use of some terms, ends, wants, scarcity, limited, some resources. Some use them. I hope it makes sense. But from the little experience I have had, and then from my roommates, I have seen that the word economics and then management are sometimes used interchangeably. So I concluded and then added my voice to the concept economics as the management of scarce resources. Therefore, 
Economics is the management of what? Scarce resources. So from me, my conclusion and my contribution is that economics, when you talk about economics, is the management of scarce resources. It means that if there is no scarce resources or if the resources are not scarce, there wouldn't have been any need for us to study economics. Because economics itself as a subject focuses on the management of scarce resources.